This van may not look like it, but it has the power to destroy an entire city. That is because Pakistan transports its nuclear weapons in ordinary vans like this one, often with little or no security. For comparison, this is how the United States transports its nukes. But why is Pakistan taking such a big risk with its nukes? To understand this, we need to go back to 2011. The United States was searching the world for Osama bin Laden, who was wanted for his involvement in the September 11 terrorist attacks as Al-Qaeda's leader. However, he was not to be found in Afghanistan, where he was originally believed to be. Then in 2011, his location was determined thanks to intelligence information. He was hiding in this villa in the Pakistani city of Abbottabad. The discovery was followed by Operation Neptune Spear, in which Black Hawk helicopters flew from US occupied parts of Afghanistan across the border into Pakistan to Osama bin Laden's hideout, intending to take him out. The special operations unit that carried out the mission, which was conducted without the knowledge of the Pakistani government, was placed under CIA control during the operation, so it would not be classified as an act of war. Good evening. Tonight, I can report to the American people and to the world that the United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden, the leader of Al-Qaeda. As we all know, the SEAL team managed to achieve its target, which put the Pakistani government in an awkward position. It had to explain how the world's most wanted man could be hiding just five minutes away from the Pakistani military academy, and at the same time was shocked that the US, after all a close ally of Pakistan, had not informed them about the operation or asked for permission. Furthermore, after this operation, there were fears that the Americans might simply steal Pakistan's nuclear weapons, which the Americans didn't approve of in the first place. One US official said securing Pakistani nukes has been a priority since Pakistan became a nuclear state. Moreover, the United States maintains military personnel in Central Asia who have been preparing for such a mission for years. These forces are trained to penetrate the interior of nuclear facilities and then find, secure, evacuate any active weapons. One such mission was actually carried out in the 90s. A ship left North Korea with what the CIA called an illegal weapon on board, and the United States didn't know where the ship was going. In that case, a naval SEALs team managed to disarm the weapon. So it's not like Pakistan has nothing to worry about. In the aftermath of Operation Neptune Spear, Pakistan decided to hide its nuclear weapons from the Americans by transporting the nukes in insuspicious vans with minimal security, since a larger security team would attract too much attention. This is problematic, because the United States believed that Pakistan's army and intelligence services have been infiltrated by all sorts of terrorist organizations, Al-Qaeda, the Taliban, the Haqqani network, just to name a few. Pakistan has some problems with terrorist groups in the country, especially in the Waziristan region on the border with Afghanistan. If, for example, a member of the intelligence services were to leak as to when and where a nuclear bomb would be transported, it would be easier to obtain thanks to the minimal security. When the United States became aware of the problem, it began to develop serious plans to secure Pakistan's nuclear weapons in the event of a jihadist coup, civil war, or another catastrophic event. But securing Pakistan's entire nuclear arsenal would be an enormous undertaking, as Pakistan is believed to have about 165 warheads. And even the United States has admitted that it's not clear whether the intelligence agencies can identify the locations of all Pakistan's nuclear weapons, especially after the raid that killed Osama bin Laden. When the Pakistanis became aware of the US plans, they were confirmed in their fears, so the weapons continued to be transported in vans. In response, the Pakistani government said that should the US dare try to capture the country's nuclear weapons, it would lead to a war between the two countries. Interestingly, the United States pays $2 billion a year to the Pakistani government as military aid, of which $100 million goes to the Strategic Plans Division, which takes care of the security of Pakistan's nuclear weapons, but does not allow the US to observe how the money is spent. Pakistan also threatens to involve China, a close ally. However, there are said to have been secret talks between the US and China in which it was allegedly agreed that China would not intervene in the case of an American operation in Pakistan. But how would the US proceed if there were an incident in which it deemed intervention necessary? The United States military has been quietly preparing the necessary equipment in the region. In the event of an incident, US forces would enter the country, repel from helicopters, parachute out of airplanes to secure known or suspected nuclear weapon stockpiles. After disabling as many weapons as possible and securing as as much of the vessel material as possible, US forces would quickly withdraw because the final phase of the plan involves precision missile strikes on nuclear bunkers.